Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the unincorporated community of Ardsley, which is located in Abington Township, as well as Upper Dublin Township, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. This neighborhood is a neighbor of Glenside, PA. Now, normally, I don't like to cover areas that are outside of Philadelphia, PA, because Philadelphia, I hold dearly to my heart. These areas that are surrounding Philadelphia don't really hold any emotional value to me. However, I was in the area picking something up and I was like, why not document it while I'm here? As you can see, this is a residential neighborhood. It's a drizzly, rainy day. gray skies we're traveling about six miles an hour as you can see it has a suburban feel this is about 15 to 20 minutes depending on traffic away from Philadelphia We have a nice SI on our right-hand side, that 2000 SI Civic, that blue one. That's a special edition color that only came in that year. All right, we're on Spear Ave and Tennis Ave. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Spear Ave. So these houses have front lawns. Some of them have garages. I see some of them with vinyl siding. Some of them have brownstone brick siding. We're on Central Ave and Spear Ave. Let's make this left-hand turn on Central. On our right-hand side, it looks like we have some sort of school. So there are several places of interest in Ardsley, you have the Ardsley Park, which is not far from us, Ardsley Community Center, Ardsley Septa Station, the Ardsley Cemetery, the Ardsley Wildlife Sanctuary, previously known as the Dark Woods, and Joe's Meat Market. So Ardsley, technically, if you want to get specific, is located in Montgomery County, and it's a part of Abington Township. You have a property for lease on my right-hand side. 849 is for lease. All right, we're at Lincoln Ave and Central Ave. On December 7th, 1777, the Battle of Edge Hill was fought in this area. British forces attacked American troops posted on Edge, I'm sorry, posted on Edge Hill, which runs from southwest to northeast along the present day Willow Grove Avenue and Edge Hill Road near where Limekin Pike crosses Edge Hill. British and Hessian light infantry routed or rooted a force of Pennsylvania militia and the second Connecticut regiment that was led by Joseph Reed. I do apologize about my sluggish reading. We're in motion, so I'm kind of multitasking here. I'm trying to travel, travel as slow as possible. We're approaching Jefferson Ave. We have a gentleman in front of us who's walking his dog. Cute little chubby, awkward looking dog. <laughs> it kind of looks like a hot dog, but it looks like a mixture. It has really short legs and it's long. You see it? Cute dog though. This is Ardsley Park on our left-hand side. It's a playground, tennis court, swings and whatnot. We're gonna make this right-hand turn on Cricket Ave. There's a house for sale on my right-hand side. Check it out. 2816 is for sale. That's Jefferson Ave. 2816 Jefferson Ave, Ardsley, PA. So if you guys want to get an idea what property is going for in this neighborhood, if you're looking to relocate, this might be an area for you. 
and it's not far from Philadelphia. So let's say you get a job in Philadelphia and you want the convenience of having a city, but you don't want to deal with the crime that the city has, then you can just live here and travel to work or utilize Philadelphia's nightlife resources. Now make note, there are several shopping centers nearby here. There's shopping stores, the traditional things like Burlington Co. Factory, uh, targets and supermarkets and salons. They do have all of that in this area. But if you want more of it in abundance, you can head to the city. There's also other townships that are surrounding this township. Now, many people don't realize that a lot of Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania, which is where Philadelphia is located and this Arsley is located, a lot of Pennsylvania is pretty much green. So what, what do I mean when I say green? We just passed Cricket Ave and Lincoln Ave. When I say green, I mean there's an overabundance of vegetation, of trees. 90 plus percent of Pennsylvania is trees and, and acreage and open land. A lot of people see Philadelphia and think that the entire state of Pennsylvania is like Philadelphia. Nope, wrong, access denied. There's a few big cities, Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Philadelphia, and so on. And there's a few small townships that boast the, the, the amenities that large cities would have. But many of the areas are just small townships and they're all filled with vegetation, a lot of greenery. So you'll see a lot of the trees, a lot of trees, check it out. So that's Ardsley Community Education Center on our right hand side and daycare, remember earlier? You remember, remember? Remember when I said it looks like a school? Well, it was an education center. So in 2001, this area was heavily damaged by Tropical Storm Allison. A township project was undertaken to stop future flooding. So check that out. So this area has issues with flooding. I wonder what flood zone it comes in as because that may affect a homeowner's insurance. They had a scarecrow on our left. So this is a two-way street, as you can see. You gotta share the single lane. So they pulled over for us. So that project, to prevent future flooding included the recreation or the recreation, I'm sorry, of a drainage basin locally known as Floaties Pond, which has worked in that not much more flooding has occurred in the area since the last major flood. So I guess they came up with a little solution. So if you guys are wondering what crime is like in the area, I know we spoke briefly about crime. And if you watch my Philadelphia hood tours from the most prominent areas in Philadelphia to some of the most problematic areas in Philly, we're at the intersection of Woodrow and Cricket Ave. You have learned that based on areavibes.com, many of the neighborhoods receive an F rating when it comes to crime, right? You very rarely see an A, B, C, D rating. Primarily, sadly, a lot of the neighborhoods in Philadelphia are F-rated when it comes to crime. Since this area is neighboring and considered, it's, it's compiled in when it comes to crime stats with Glenside PA crime, this neighborhood receives an A rating for crime, which is very rare, especially since I traveled across the country and I've been to some of the most prestigious areas such as Beverly Hills and Boca Raton and, and just many little random private millionaire communities. Um, this is a very rare sighting to see an A rating. Total crime is 55% below the national average. Violent crime is 47% below the national average. Property crime is 56% below the national average. So those numbers are impressive if you're looking to move to a safer area, raise a family, you want less headache, less problems. Overall, it looks like a pretty clean area. There's very little debris. I don't see no vandalism. It has all of the details of a, of a desirable small town. Believe me, I've seen dozens and dozens, probably maybe hundreds of small towns across America. And when I get to an intersection like this, I feel like I'm back on the road traveling the country. <laughs> but who knew? It's only less than 20 minutes away from. So where I'm located at in the city in the Kensington area, this is 34 minutes. This is about 30 to 34 minutes away from Kensington. Just to give you a synopsis, if you guys are, because a lot of people compare uh, a lot of the areas is to tune. How far is this from Kensington? Well, this is about 30 minutes away from Kensington. Now, 
If you go to an outskirt neighborhood of Philly or, oh my gosh, there's a deer on my right hand side, bro. They have a deer. That Toyota, that Toyota Sequoia, yo, why you kill my little deer guy? There's nobody in the vehicle. I should take the deer out and go take him to an animal veterinarian clinic so they can re resuscitate him. Yo, listen, I'm not moving to this community. You guys just lost a potential resident. <laughs> Psych, nah, but I don't want to move here. Anymore. Yo, smart car and an element on my right. Hey, I own both of them. <laughs> Yo, that was very disheartening. I would like to take a moment of silence for my little deer buddy, my little deer goon. He was probably just out running about trying to get some, some hay and stuff for his family. And he was gunned down by whoever owned that Toyota Sequoia. Man, I didn't expect to see that, y'all. That was a huge deer. We have a vehicular device behind us. Yeah, that's sad, man. I mean, I understand you guys are probably gonna have mixed emotions. Tune gonna be like, well, that was food. I mean, not tune. <laughs> the viewers are gonna be like, well, tune, that was food. But still, still, <laughs> I would have preferred to hug the deer, pet the deer. Sit down with the deer. Share a beer with the deer. <laughs> That's crazy, y'all. So y'all know we'll go down here over here in Arsley. You better knock first. If not, they're answering the door with the shotgun. That's probably why property crime is down 56%. <laughs> Spear Ave. All right, we're on Maple Ave and Spear Ave. We're going to continue moving forward. So on my left and my right, it, it so happens that every time we pass one of these intersections, I see somebody walking a dog. So I thought I'd point that out. There's a lot of people walking dogs. I still got this vehicle behind me. I would love to let them go by because I'm traveling 16 miles an hour to stay at a steady pace for them. But I would like to slow down. Hold on, let me just pull over so they can go by. So with my luck, they live right here. Watch. Go ahead, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Watch them live in one of these houses. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That that deer like done 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 traumatized me. <laughs> In Glenside, you have a 1 in 95 chance of becoming a victim of crime. Wowzers. Holy moly, guacamole. Yo, that's crazy. We're at Lincoln Ave and Maple Ave. That's crazy considering that some of the areas that I've been to in America is like 1 in 8 chance, 1 in 11 chance, 1 in 12 chance. Here it's 1 in 95 chance of becoming a victim of crime. So basically, you can probably walk around with bags of bags of cash, all your gold change, your flavor flave clock, your best B Balenciaga, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton gear, and nobody will bother you in the middle of midnight. You should be good. You should be A-OK -okay in this area. But what's interesting, which is kind of contradictory, which is kind of like an oxymoron, year over year, crime in Glenside has increased by 19%. So that's weird how it's a safe area, but crime has also increased. So what that tells me is it was probably safer back, back then. Look at Arsley Wildlife Sanctuary. You see that sign, am I right? This is Arsley uh, Park right here. You see it? That's the entrance. It says Abington Township, Arsley Walking Path. Yeah, so as I was mentioning, that probably means that, let's say 20, 30 years ago, it was even safer. You probably had like a 1 in 130 chance, a 1 in 150 chance of becoming a victim of crime. But since the times have changed, that's probably why that's, that's the, the case. That's amazing. I got another vehicle behind me. Housing. Wow, so Glenside receives a D rating for housing. I got another vehicle behind me tailing me. They're going super fast. Dude, I'm doing 20 miles an hour. These are the type of townships that you get pulled over too. You will get pulled over. All right, we're at Mayor, Mayor Ave and Maple Ave. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn just to get away from this vehicle that's behind me. They seem to be pressed to go forward. So let's allow them to go forward. Yes, they kept on going straight. Fantastic. Wow, so this area receives a D rating when it comes to housing. Some people have the Christmas spirit. On our left-hand side, we have a gigantic Christmas tree. <laughs> 